Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, whoa, I think I have a burger. Love that. Oh, starting off to, we're off to a good start, guys. Hold on. And the meat. Oh, all right. Anyways, today we're doing dun, 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 Best of Beauty 2018. This is my, this is actually one of my favorite videos to film every year because I just get to talk about the products that really stood out to me. And this year I have makeup, skincare, hair care, body care. We're kind of hitting all the categories. And on top of that, these products, like I'm telling you guys, these products really stood out to me. They're kind of like my ultimate ride or die. So if you're excited, then just keep watching and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more in 2019. Hey! <laughs> okay, let's get started. All right, so let's start off with a little skincare, body care action. So I've got a couple different products from Shea Moisture to talk about. I'm working with them on this video because I wanted to give you guys all the deets on my faves. So if you haven't heard of Shea Moisture, they're a really great brand because they're affordable. They're a drugstore, you can get it at Target. That's where I usually get it. But on top of that, they actually use very high quality ingredients. A lot of them are natural and certified organic. And that just makes me feel a little bit better about like what I'm putting on my skin. For me, it's just nice to know that like you're not having to spend a million dollars on good quality skincare that actually makes a difference in your skin. Now I've been using this brand for honestly quite some time, but I just haven't really had a chance or opportunity to talk about the products. So I picked out some or two specific favorites of mine that I feel like I just can't live without that are really ride or die products because again, they're making a difference and a noticeable difference in my skin and body. So first off, we have the African Black Soap Clarifying Mud Mask. So this is great for blemish prone skin if you're experiencing a lot of breakouts or acne. And you guys know through 2018, I'm telling you guys, I have never seen my skin go through so many ups and downs. Like there were times when my breakouts were literal crazy things going on, like growing on my face. Like, um, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? What was it called? What was it called? Orion's belt. When Orion's belt was on my forehead. Wow, that really took me a while to like remember what that was. But anyways, like, you know what I'm trying to say. There were times this year where I kind of lost hope and I relied on some of these products to really bring my skin out of the gutter. And I think I'm gonna do a video all about how I cleared my acne, but this was one of my key products that I turned to during those times. So obviously it's a mud mask. It smells good. Kind of smells like Play-Doh, but I love it. <laughs> this is an interesting clay mask because it doesn't dry out your skin while you're using it, but it still absorbs excess oil. Um, it also helps to like really purify and detoxify the skin. So it's drawing out those impurities, drawing out all the bacteria on your skin and the reason that it has those moisturizing ingredients is because it actually has the African black soap in it and also shea butter. So that gives you that moisturization, but you're still getting the detoxifying, purifying properties. Another thing that I really liked about this product or like one of the reasons why it stood out to me to begin with, why I picked it up, was because it has tea tree oil. And um, Yoli, who usually does my facials, she was telling me that tea tree oil is one of the best ingredients to use for acne because it has antibacterial properties. So it's actually working to kill that bacteria on your skin while you're using the product. Um, so yeah, the tea tree oil in it is amazing because it's helping to prevent future breakouts, but also calm your current breakouts. And this was for sure a key product for me. Not dried, not so shabby, okay. Um, and then the second one is the African Black Soap Soothing Body Wash. So this body wash, I'm telling you guys, I repurchased this several times throughout the year because it's such a good purifying but calming body wash. It's a very interesting experience that I had with this body wash. First off, again, it just smells so clean and good and you guys know I'm big on scents, but not only that, the ingredients really do work to help, how do I even explain this? Cleanse the skin, but not dry it out. You don't get that like, Dry, dry feeling on the skin afterwards. It helps to purify the skin. The texture is really interesting. So when you open it up, it has like this texture to it. Hopefully you guys can see that. Ah, don't get on me. Um, hopefully you guys could see this. It has little balls or like little texture in there. Whoa. 
<laughs> really getting on there. Um, but that texture in the product is what helps me feel like my skin's really getting cleansed deeply and it's getting, you know, all the nasties off my skin. And um, this one does have a lot of great ingredients in it, like I said, with most of the products, honestly, that I've tried from this brand. But this one has vitamin E, which is obviously great for soothing the skin. Aloe, which you know I'm a huge fan of aloe. It's great for sensitive skin, dry skin, just moisturizing and calming the skin down. And it also actually has um, oats in here, which help to absorb that excess oil. So if you are dealing with any sort of problematic skin areas on your body, like any sort of body acne, this is actually a great one to detoxify the skin once again and still get those moisturizing benefits. This guy right here pretty much changed my life in 2018. It's the Herborean CC Cream. Now, for those of you who always watch my videos, you'll know that I just, I absolutely love this stuff. And I think that I've probably gone through I would say like five or six bottles of this over the course of the year because I use it that much. I use this every single day when I'm not wearing full makeup because it is a CC cream, so it's gonna give you a little bit of a tint, light, light, light coverage, but this one almost has like a blurring quality about it, so when you put it on, it just makes your skin look very even toned, flawless and a little bit blurred out, but it still looks like skin. Like it doesn't look like you've caked on a bunch of makeup. And um, on top of that, it does have SPF in it, which is just, you know, just nice to know that your CC cream or BB cream has SPF. It is white when you apply it and then it melts into your skin like so. Yes, honey. So, I mean, you can even see there, like it does give you, like I'm saying, like a little bit of color, but also that gorgeous skin tint that just looks like pure radiance. That's how I'm gonna describe it, pure radiance. So that's definitely been one of my go-to products this year. Every time that I have run out, I always pop open a new bottle. And for me, that's definitely like a telltale sign of something that I love, use, and cannot live without because I have a lot of products, you know? And I'm grateful for all of them, but honestly, when you just keep repurchasing and keep reusing the same one, that's when you know it's all worth right. it. Now that we're on skin, foundation, stuff like that, um, favorite foundation of 2018, this guy right here, NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is such a beautiful foundation because mostly of the way that it wears, um, it's very long wearing, but it does so in a way that it still looks good at the end of the day. Whenever I wear this, I just feel like my makeup doesn't look oily, my makeup never looks cakey or greasy, it just looks like skin, but like flawless, full covered skin. This is probably my most used foundation of 2018 as well, because it's the one that I gravitate towards for um, when I'm filming, when I'm, you know, putting on makeup before I do a video like this, when I'm actually filming tutorials, when I'm traveling, like I always have to have this foundation with me. I kind of like um, gravitate or rotate, that's what I'm trying to say. I rotate between a couple different shades. So for the most part, I would say I'm Barcelona, but I also do use Syracuse at times and then even Tahoe, whoops, <laughs> even Tahoe. Those are kind of the three shades that I will rotate between, mix and bring together with me while I'm traveling, especially over the summer when like I was getting you know, more tan the longer that I would be away. I had to have all those shades because it's just, it's my favorite formula. It always makes my skin look so, boom, ready to go. Okay, another face product actually that I was very impressed with is the Maybelline Blur Stick. This is a primer, but it's a stick primer. So the reason why I was really impressed with this to begin with was just the ease of it. And I know actually this year, a lot of companies came out with products like this, but the reason that this beat out all the others in my 2018 Beauty Olympics here um, is because of the price point. It works just as well as some of the higher end products just like this, but you're getting it for under $10. So I think you can't really beat that. Like I said, super easy to use. You just swipe it on and then you can kind of press the product into the skin if you want it to really make your skin look poreless, flawless. Yes, honey. Dun, 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 dun lashes. These are definitely the standout for me for 2018. These are the Radiance from House of Lashes. So the, this is a cool style because it does have that beautiful flair to it. It gives my eyes like almost like a more feminine shape to them. So that's why I tend to gravitate towards lashes that are shaped like this with the little flare. Whoops, can you see that? Yeah, with the little flare. And these ones in particular are 
I don't want to say double stacked, but they have a lot of fluffiness to them and a lot of volume. So they're similar to Iconics, but if you can see here, they're a little more voluminous in the way that the lashes actually lay on your um, on your eyes. So I really like these. These were a limited edition to begin with, and then they brought them back right now, like recently in December. So highly recommend them if you. Um, if you're looking for something that's just gonna take your look to the next level, glam it up, give you that beautiful feminine shape, and really wear nicely throughout the day and wear for so many different makeup looks. Like you could wear these with um, just brown eyeshadow or just a bronze eyeshadow, or you could wear it with like a full on cut crease or full on glitter eyes, and these lashes look bomb with any style of makeup that you choose because they're just like that finishing touch that really does finish off a makeup look. So really love these and hopefully they still have them because they are limited edition. So if you guys want to check them out, do so quickly because you're gonna wanna try these. I got like 20 extra pairs at home because whenever things are limited edition, I feel like I need to stock up. I mean, if I really like them, like if I really do see myself using them, if I know I'm gonna miss them once they're gone, that's when I stock up. Okay, another thing that changed the game in 2018 is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Setting Powder. It smells so good, first off, but second off, it has a peachy undertone to it. It's just slight, but it does have a peachy undertone to it. Um, so that actually helps to cancel out discoloration under the eyes. So if you deal with dark circles, or if you deal with just a lot of like those blue and purple undertones underneath your eyes, then this is amazing because not only are you already getting help to cover that with your concealer, but you're setting it in place with a product that's gonna help to color correct a little bit, but also make your makeup last all day long. If you apply something too radiant. If you do have any sort of texture underneath the eyes or on your skin anywhere, um, or any kind of divots, like for me, I do have like under eye, if you can see I have like under eye circles that are pretty bad and under eye divots. So this helps to conceal them even better because it creates a flat base and when it's matte, it's actually not, it's drawing attention away from it. Like once you put something matte there and then put something radiant on the side. So you're taking attention away from those dark circles. And again, it just makes my makeup last forever as well. There are a lot of good setting powders out there, but this is what I always bring with me. It's what I always have to have with me. And it was a really great release of 2018, in my opinion. Okay, let's talk about brows because honestly brows, <sighs> brows are life. First and foremost, these two brow products in particular really changed the game in my opinion for 2018. So first off is the Benefit Cosmetics Brow Contour Pro. Now what I like about this, I mean it's just a, such a different product than anything else I had ever seen. It has four different like heads on it or four different products inside of it. And it's one of those like push pins. So you get a deeper brow shade, a lighter brow shade right there. And then you get a highlighter and a definer. The main thing that really stood out to me on this particular product is the definer shade. What I like about it is that it's a super small precise pencil, similar to the size of like their Precisely My Brow, but it is your defining shade. I actually use it to carve out the brows and then also to kind of like highlight that area. So I'll just take the pencil and go right under here and it's, it makes it so easy to create that defined line underneath the eyes. This cut my brow, ooh. <laughs> this cut my brow routine time pretty much in half because I would spend a lot of time going in with concealer, making sure to carve out those brows nice and precise and sharp. And because of the ease of this product, it really has saved me a lot of time and it's just, it's just easier to use. So I really like this. It's also easier to travel with because you don't have to worry about like having a brush and all that stuff. The other brow product is the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. Now I know I've talked about this a lot, but it just, I have to include it in my 2018 favorites because it changed the game for me. I never really thought that I could achieve the same brows that I was paying like 25 to $30 for a pencil as this $5 pencil, you know? So the price point on this is what really makes me want, or what really made me 
want to include in my 2018 favorites play because I was genuinely impressed. Like I was shocked when I started reaching for this more than any other brow pencil. And they have one, like a white one, that's honestly mm, not, not so great. It's not like my favorite, but this is game changing. So you have to look for the black one that's more precise because the white one is a thicker brow product or a thicker brow pencil. And I personally find found that one actually very difficult to use. But this one, like I'm telling you guys, it's just as good, just as good as something that you would pay 25 to $30 for, but it's a fraction of the price. It has that precise tip on it, so it's easy to create those really small, natural, precise brow strokes and bada boom, bada bing, brows in under $5. This is a little bit more pricey, but this I was very, very impressed with the price point. Derma E Scar Gel. Yes, you know it's a ride or die. I don't even remember if this was in my 2017 favorites, but it rolls over because it's that good and that effective. So what this is, is obviously a scar gel. So it helps to diminish the look of dark spots and scars. <coughs> Whoa. Ooh, I used to get the worst scarring, like the worst scarring. I could just get like the tiniest little blemish and that scar would be so deep that it would stay for months and months and months on end. So when I started using this, I saw like such a change in the time it took for my skin to regenerate itself and to heal and to not have that scar. Like I was very, very impressed the first few times that I used this because I just saw it. Like I saw those scars disappearing. I saw the scars fading away and this was really the only thing that I had changed. So, you know, that was the reason. A lot of you guys will tweet me or DM me saying that like you tried it out and it's changed your skin. And I believe that because I really do feel like this is a secret weapon. Boom. It's a gel formula, so it sinks in really nicely. And when you apply it to those scars, like I'm telling you, you will see a difference in like maybe three, four days. That was when I first started to see a difference in my skin and started to see those acne scars fading away super fast. And it works well on new scars. Like it's, it works amazingly on new scars. If you get an acne scar or a scar in general and you put this on right away, like right when it appears on your face, it'll usually be completely gone within, I would say guaranteed within seven days. Normally, that's just even a stretch because you know guarantees are always a little bit of a stretch, but I feel like I see my scars diminish within a couple of days if it's a new scar. If it's like an older scar that's even deeper, it will help to fade it and it'll get lighter. It'll stay a little bit longer obviously because it's been there longer and it's so deep, but it's worth a shot, honey, because this stuff, has been a lifesaver for the past year or so, or maybe two years. I don't remember even when I started using this, but it's a bomb product, so yes, there you go. Favorite palette of 2018. Dun, da, da, da. Are you ready? NARS Ignited. This is what it looks like on the inside. Sorry, mine's a little janky right now. I'm like, I'm gonna be honest, there were honestly a lot of great palettes that were released this year, but the reason I like this one in particular is because I really like the shade range, but on top of that, there's a really nice mixture of textures in here. So you could create so many different types of looks, so many different types of looks with different colors, so many types of looks with different textures. Like that's one thing that I was looking for and found inside of this palette. So you get three masks down here that are honestly so easy to blend. Like I kid you not, these blend like a dream. You just take a little bit on your, um, on your brush, like a blending brush, and they blend out so Easily, I'm getting so heated about this that I can barely talk, but look at that. Like, that was one swipe, and then if you go back in, boom. It's so creamy, so pigmented. So these are the three blending shades in the palette. And when mattes swatch like this, like it always impresses me because mattes are more difficult to swatch than shimmers. Mattes don't typically look amazing when you swatch because they can always be patchy, they can be difficult to blend. Even mattes that are good on the eyes sometimes don't swatch well, but these ones swatch amazingly. They blend out, I'm telling you, like, like, a gift <laughs> um, on the eyes. And on top of that, you're getting a lot of beautiful, beautiful, sparkly, shimmery, metallic shades. So let me swatch some of those. Like what is that? It's super, super pigmented. Um, the color arrangement is gorgeous. And like I said, you are getting a couple different textures in there that are all highly pigmented really easy to use, easy to blend. Honestly, the whole palette is just, it's gorgeous and the shade selection is pretty. Like, do you see this 
the tones here. Like, it's just, it's gorgeous. I have actually used every single shade in this palette, which, you know, you it's not often that you say that, that you're like, I love every shade, I have used every shade. So again, that was like a key point for me of when I was thinking like, what are my favorite palettes of the year? What really stood out to me? What do I feel was so worth the money, was so worth, um, the product, I guess you could say, and this really did the trick. Yes, Nars, you did that. This blush palette, Sigma Beauty Blush Cheek Palette, it is so beautiful. When I found out that they were um, coming out with this, I got really excited because I love cheek colors. I love adding that flush of warmth on the cheeks. So blushes like really stand out to me in general. But this one, the color range is just, it's beautiful. And I feel like I can get any kind of look that I'm going for, I can find a blush inside of this palette for that look. That's why I love it. It's so versatile. It can work for so many different skin tones and so many different people. And you guys would die if you felt these powders. They're so buttery and smooth. Like when I first started using this, these were my favorite shades, but now Tiger Lily has really taken the reins. I use Tiger Lily almost every single day. It's kind of like a corally, shade with gold undertones. It's beautiful and adds so much beautiful warmth and radiance to that makeup look. Um, I'll swatch a couple more of the shades for you guys, but you guys would literally die at the pigmentation of these because you can see that it's not overly pigmented for a blush. I do not like when blushes are super, 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 super pigmented because I can be kind of heavy handed and it just like, it gets, I look crazy really fast, okay? especially if I'm in a rush. But with these, because they're just, they just have that right amount of pigmentation so that you don't look like a clown very easily, but you also get that just like flush of color. It's really, really like such a gorgeous formula. And the shade selection, like I said, is a beaut. Yes, honey, if you're looking for pink, you got it. If you're looking for like more of a muted coral or a dusty rose, you got it. So I was really impressed by this palette and still something that I use every single day. I keep in my kit. I love blushes. We all know that. Um, another blush product that really stood out to me this year is the NARS Orgasm Illuminating Loose blah, 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 Loose Blush. It's a loose powder. And it has that same tone that the original Orgasm blush has. So it's like that warm pink with the gold shimmer running through it. But this one, because it is a loose powder, it just gives you like the most beautiful radiance. You see how my highlight kind of transfers as I move. You can see the light reflecting off it in different sections. That is because of this. So what I do is I use this as almost like a transition between my blush, my bronzer, and my highlighter. I take it on a blush brush and I pat it into the skin and that's what gives me that almost like all over glow, but in all of the right places. Like somehow this product just bounces the light correctly off of the high points of the face and just gives you like this perfect glowy effect. So really, really love this product as that kind of transition between your blush, your highlight and your bronzer on the cheek to uplift the cheekbones and just give you a little extra radiance. I love this. Fenty Beauty killed it with this lip formula. This is the Stunna Lip Paint. I really like this formula because it's so comfortable to wear on the lips. Obviously, at this point, there's so many liquid lipsticks out there that it almost gets overwhelming and you're kind of like, why do I need 700 liquid lipsticks? But I'm telling you guys, this particular one does wear a lot better than any others that I've tried. It's super lightweight, it's comfortable, it's liquidy on the lips, so then when it dries down, it's not too matte, it's not too drying, it just has the perfect formula on it. I'm wearing this shade today with a gloss on top, but this is the shade Unbutton. Ah! <laughs> it's kind of like a peachy nude, really, really pretty color. Um, but the main thing that I wanted to talk about for this favorite of mine is the formula, just cause the formula is like insane. I wish they had more shades. That's the only thing. Like I wish they could, would come out with like 20 shades so that you could have something for every occasion. But the formula is so pretty. Do you see how pigmented that was with just one swipe? And I'm telling you when it dries down, you don't even hardly feel it. Like it just feels like like nothing really. Ugh, love a good chocolatey brown. Yes, that's the shade Unveil. Then we have one of my all time favorites. This is the Uncensored Stunna Lip Paint. This is the perfect red. So 
This is what I wear a lot of times during the holiday season because it's just a great um, blue red, so it does have a blue undertone, but it's the classic red, so it makes your teeth look really white. It obviously has a good formula, like I've been saying, so it, um, it stays on really well. And when, oh, that's one thing that I do, will say. With red lipsticks or red liquid lipsticks or just darker, vampier, bolder lips, usually, you know, you will have to reapply at some point especially if you're like eating and drinking a lot. When you reapply these, they do not cake up. They like literally just stay flat and lightweight. It's it's pretty magical, I'm not gonna lie. And then the last shade here is Uncuffed. So this is kind of like a rosy nude. Boom. Yes. So much pigment with just one swipe, super opaque and amazing formula. This year was kind of the year of hair for me. Like I really felt it, I felt that I needed to help the damage a lot. So I tried out a ton of different products and this by far is the number one thing that stood out for me in the hair department is this line from Pravana. So it's called the Intense Therapy line. They have a conditioner, or conditioner, a shampoo, and then also more of like a deep conditioner or treatment mask. And every single thing in this line, I'm telling you, it's just, nourishes the hair, it's super lightweight. Every time that I use this set or this line, I really do see a difference in my hair. Like afterwards, once my hair is dry, my hair feels smoother and softer and it actually looks smoother and softer as well. Like it actually looks shinier. So that was the number one thing that I liked about it. I also think that it's actually a really lightweight formula, even though it is super deeply nourishing. So I think it's cool that, you know, you, you are, you're not weighing down your hair, but you're still getting the benefits of a deep treatment. Mm. I really have seen a difference in the damage of my hair, the breakage, it's just like, kind of revitalize my hair and it's really good for damaged hair. If you do have damaged hair, I highly, highly recommend trying these out, especially the mask because the mask just gives you the most hydration, super moisturizing. It's not lightweight. I mean, it is lightweight. It's not gonna like weigh your hair down. So you can even wear this during the day, like today, for example, like when my hair is sleek, I can use it in there to slick back my hair, but I'm getting those moisturizing benefits. So love that. That was my number one standout product in the hair department. Thank you guys for watching and thank you to Shea Moisture for working with me on this video. Let me know if you guys liked it in the comment section and make sure to subscribe before you leave.